Hey, we're over an hour. Is there anything we missed in your journey before we get to the set questions I ask everybody at the end? Oh, yeah. I thought this was just the intro. <laughs> I don't. I don't. <clears throat> when I was seven. Yeah, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> There's a big moment when you're seven. All right. I ask the same set questions at the end. The first one is describe what you do in three words. You got three words to explain what it is you do. Fuck shit up. Nice. Elaborate. You get as many words as you want. How do you fuck shit up? In ways that no one else has ever conceived of. I screw up so much shit. I screw up the easiest gimmies. I, I just... <laughs> so this isn't a positive fuck shit up. This is a bad fuck shit oh, up. Oh, yeah. No, it's bad. It's bad. No, there's, there, are, there are three or four things I do really well. Yeah. Um, uh, my acting... Auditioning. By the way, I don't separate those two at all. Yeah, no, it's and what I ninety-five percent of your job is auditioning. No, 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 no. I don't mean like that. Oh, I mean that there is absolutely no real quantifiable difference. One, technically, your audition is physically identical to shooting your coverage. They're going to put a sandbag down. You're going to step into your mark, and you're going to work with. The other actor who's just off camera. There's sure. no difference between that and going into your audition room, standing on your mark, and reading with a casting director. The whole one of the philosophies, if you will, that I teach is, and no one ever taught me this, and I and I only just realized, and I've been doing this for a decade now. I only got this sort of concept that the actual step, a literal physical step that you take, leaving your reality. I need this job. I. I need insurance. I'm going to win or lose a quarter of a million dollars in the next 90 seconds here in the basement of CBS. You know, the reality of that needs to be second in importance to killing the scene. Right. And once everything is only about killing the scene, in other words, the fantasy of acting, the stepping into and creating a fantasy, there's no difference between your audition and being on set. You have only one focus and one job. Destroy the scene. Right. Know what you're doing and kill it. And I mean kill it. Kill it fucking dead. Kill it like a vampire. Cut its fucking head off. Stick garlic down its fucking throat. Kill it. And then piss on it. I'm dead serious. Comedy, drama, just dis nothing else matters. And that's what we teach to. Fuck that shit otherwise, up. Otherwise, the joy of acting. <laughs> Fuck that shit up. Is it's, what you it's do. Absolutely. And that, because if that's your goal, then it doesn't matter your circumstances. Yeah. It doesn't matter what the money you're going to make, the money you're not going to get, anything else. Oh, the, the reader is on the other side of the, of the camera. Oh, I, oh, it's a chair without arms, and I practiced it standing up, or I practiced it with... I screw, I've screwed 400 auditions because the chairs had arms in the room, and I couldn't act. <laughs> I couldn't act because I practiced it with a chair without yeah. arms. Um, we don't do that anymore at, sure. at my school. Nothing matters except you get rid of everything and you kill the scene. Sure. Then, and it takes practice. It's hard. But then everything is the same. It's just about the acting of the scene. It's not about the end result of getting the job. And it, and it's, and it, it's, it works really, really well. Sure.